Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to create and use custom palettes in Inkscape. For this demonstration I'm using Inkscape 0.48.2 on a Windows 7 PC and I will be creating a palette for derpy hooves of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The advantage of creating a palette is that your colors will be consistent across any number of pieces of art that you create. In addition you don't have to constantly switch to the dropper tool to pick up colors from the reference. You'll only need to do this once for the character. First, you'll want to find your palette directory. In Windows, this is the Share Palettes folder in your Inkscape directory as seen here. You may need to set permissions on this folder to make changes to the files in it. I've linked to a video in the description on how to do this. I preface all of my My Little Pony palettes with MLP hyphen. So this way they show up together in the files list and also in the swatches dialog. You can access the swatches dialog by pressing Control shift w and you'll also need to see the fill and stroke dialog which is accessed by Control shift f Clicking the triangle on the right side of the swatches dialog, you can change the view from grid to list and view all the palettes available. The color bar here at the bottom is also a palette dialog and you can select a different palette there. This is useful if working on two characters at the same time. Now let's create a palettes file. Go to the palettes folder, right click and create a new text document. Name it what you want and and end with the .gpl extension and click the rename yes. Open this up. The first three lines need to be this. GIMP palette, name, colon, and then the name of what you want it to show in the swatches dialog. Third line is pound and any comments you might want to make. Starting with line 4, you'll be defining the colors of the palette. These are the numericals 0 to 255 values for red, green, and blue, followed by the color's description. Each is separated by spaces, and each color gets its own line, and the colors will appear in this order when the palette is opened. I always start mine by defining black and white. There are three other colors common to all ponies that I include in each palette. These are inside mouth, tongue, and teeth stroke, which I've taken from previous palettes. I've opened the palette for Princess Celestia that I used for the comic Celestia's Morning Ritual to show how these show up in the swatches dialog. Note that the GPL format doesn't allow for gradients or transparencies. I've made a note here to remind me of the transparencies in the magical unicorn glow. Here I've made two entries for the two ends of the color gradient in the irises. When you make pony eyes, you'll need to create a gradient. You'll select under fill the linear gradient. Then you can drag these handles to where you need them. Double clicking those handles lets you select the color for that gradient at that stop from the palette. You can also choose a stroke color for any object or path by shift clicking the color from the palette. The red X none will be available at the top of all palettes. You'll want to work from as high res a capture as you can get, preferably in PNG format since it's less noisy than JPEG format. I took these from a full screen shot from the last round up on YouTube using the snipping tool that comes with Windows 7. It 
If needed, you may want multiple images, but try to get them from the same source so that they're consistent. It's also best that your subject is well lit. Nighttime scenes have an overlay that darkens the colors. Import the reference image into an Inkscape by using Ctrl-I and selecting the image or simply drag and drop from an open folder. Click OK. You may need to use zoom at some points, which can be done using control mouse wheel. Next, select the rectangle tool here, or use F4. Drag a rectangle of any size out of the way of the character's image. This lets you not only see the color you're dealing with, but will let you read its RGB numbers. Now select the dropper tool here or use D. Zoom in on the area of the color with the color that you want and click and drag a circle. Make sure that the all the area within the circle is the target color. Now your rectangle is filled with that color. And you can look in the fill and stroke dialogs fill tab and read off the R, G, and B numbers. Make sure you're on the RGB sub-tab and not the HSL or CMYK. Switch, switch to your notepad and copy the numbers separated with spaces and follow that with the color's description. Now repeat for all the colors in the pony. Note that the upstage legs and wings of ponies have a slightly darker fill color than those in front. It's a subtle thing, but it can make a big difference in a drawing. When done, make sure to save your palette file. To see your palette show up in Inkscape, you'll need to restart the program. And there we have it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please check out my work at DeviantArt and see my other videos on this channel for speed draws of my latest pieces. Thanks for watching.